And so we've got Anthony Ryder from South Lyon, Michigan, recently selected as the Lions 2020 Fan of the Year. He has a passion about sports broadcasting. With the 112th selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC. One cry, baby! What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Detroit Lions video. Now, today and over the last couple of days, really, we have had a lot of breaking news and rumors about this Detroit Lions team, starting off with, of course, the suspension of Jamison Williams, along with three other teammates, and some draft news that is up and coming. And today, after a couple days away, I wanted to just take a look and kind of talk about all the news, all of the rumors, and really just take a look at what's going on in this Detroit Lions organization, with the draft being just three days away so with that being said first off we are going to start off with the news about jameson williams quintus cephas cj moore and the other wide receiver whose first name is escaping me but i believe barry moore is his last name the depth wide receiver from the practice squad a season ago all four of them are currently facing suspension with c with Quintus Cephas and C.J. Moore being suspended indefinitely by the league, as well as Jamison Williams being suspended for six games this season. Now, this suspension does come from these Lions players from these Lions players violating the NFL's gambling policies. Quintus Cephas and C.J. Moore have reportedly been betting on NFL games for the better half of last season, while Jameson Williams was betting on collegiate football games, but did it at the Detroit Lions facility, which in the eyes of the NFL is a big no, no, you cannot bet at team facilities. However, it is very important to note that what Jamison Williams did was not the reason for suspension. The betting on collegiate games, the gambling that he did was done responsibly by him. It was not illegal. It was not against league policies. The only thing that is caused for suspension is the fact that he physically placed the bet at Allen Park. That is why he's being suspended for six games. It is a completely different circumstance from the other two players, and that goes for the other depth wide receiver as well. They placed bets on collegiate games, which is allowed, but you are not allowed to do so at Allen Park. So those four players are suspended, and Quintus Cephas and C.J. Moore have since been at cut. C.J. Moore being a special teams ace for the Detroit Lions for the better part of the last couple of years. And of course, Quintus Cephas being a former mid-round selection that showed a lot of promise early in his career, but has had some struggles with injuries. And of course, now is no longer a member of the Detroit Lions. Now, the Jamison Williams news is going to be the biggest news that is going to hurt the Detroit Lions, right? Obviously, losing your deep threat and really your only deep threat up to this point is going to hurt the Lions' chances. When they were lacking that deep speed, their offense wasn't as good. When they were missing DJ Chark and Jamison Williams, they just didn't have as explosive of an offense. When they had DJ Chark without Jamison Williams, their offense got better. And then when they had Jamison Williams and DJ Chark, they went 5-1 and one and averaged nearly 29 points per game, which is just an incredibly high number to reach, but they're not going to have that deep threat. And the wide receiving core as of right now really isn't equipped to handle that deep threat role, right? The best guy to fit that role right now is going to be Khalif Raymond. And I think he is good. I think he can survive for six games as that deep threat, but Marvin Jones is not going to take the top off. Amonra St. Brown probably could as a deep threat. I think he creates enough separation that you could probably use him in that role. And of course, you have guys like Josh Reynolds who have been kind of that X wide receiver before, but they don't have a field stretcher right now. They don't have a DJ Chark. And as of right now, they don't have a Jamison Williams to go forward in the NFL. Now, the draft is always an option, right? The Lions could always draft a player, or you could just tough it out. You could wait six weeks and wait for Jamison Williams to come back and use him as that deep threat that you wanted him to be all along. And I don't think that the six-game suspension necessarily means that the Lions' playoff chances are over. I think that they're still, on paper, the best team 
in the NFC North. I think that they are still favorites and likely should be favorites to go out and win the division, even with this six-game suspension from their young star wide receiver. But it is going to be a massive hit. And depending on the opponents that the Lions play in the early weeks, it could really come back to hurt the Lions. Now, in other rumors, the Detroit Lions do have some draft news. The draft is just a few days away, and for a team like the Lions, who has been aggressive in the draft over the last couple of years, right, even going back to 2021, they were willing to trade up in the second round. They were willing to be aggressive. Last year, they did trade up all the way from 32 to 12 in order to go get Jamison Williams to be their deep threat seem to be a team that's taking a different approach this year, as the Lions have reportedly already made calls about trading down from the 18th overall selection. Now, I think the 18th overall pick is going to be a decent spot for a lot of teams. I think there's potentially a player like Will Levis or maybe even Anthony Richardson that could start sliding down the boards, and even if not, that could be a decent spot to trade up for the last good edge rusher. That could be a spot for the last good cornerback. That could be a spot for an offensive lineman, as a lot of them are going to go between probably the Bears in the Lions at 18, and I think there will be some genuine interest there. There's going to be a couple nice prospects there in the top 20 that teams are going to want, teams are going to look to take a swing on, and I think the Lions are at a place as a football team that they really don't need a single position. They don't need to be locked in at 18 and say, oh, we need a cornerback. Oh, we need a wide receiver because all the positions have really been filled, so they have the luxury to go trade down. They have the luxury to trade into the early or mid 20s to pick up an extra second, third, or maybe even if they trade down far enough, another future first round pick to go down and, you know, give up a couple spots of draft capital, but gain a lot more from those draft assets. So I think trading down is a really interesting option. I think the 18th overall pick genuinely could go either way. I could see the Detroit Lions trading it away, trading down from it, going into the 20s, going into even maybe the early 30s. And you know, using that extra draft capital later in the draft or stacking it up for next year, or they have the draft capital to move up from 18. They have the draft capital to go and, you know, move up to 11, move up to 12, jump the Patriots, jump the Steelers, jump the Commanders, jump a lot of teams that are looking for top DBs or jump teams that are looking for maybe top edge rushers based on what you do at six and go get potentially a top cornerback and a top edge rusher, a top defensive tackle and a top cornerback, right? There are so many options at 18. And for the Lions being a team that don't really have a lot of weaknesses right now, that 18th overall pick can kind of be used in any way that the Detroit Lions want to use it in. Now, as for the sixth overall pick, I'm not sure where the Detroit Lions are going. I don't know how the top five is going to fall. And genuinely, there's so many ways that this draft could go. The Jalen Carter could be the pick at six. Will Anderson could be the pick at six. Tyree Wilson, Christian Gonzalez, Anthony Richardson, CJ Stroud have all been linked and rumored to the Detroit Lions over the last week. And I think that that 18th overall pick is really going to be determined by what happens in the draft. Now, I don't think that the Lions are going to trade this pick early. I think that they're going to wait until the 18th overall pick is on the board. They're going to wait to see who's there because for all we know, there could be a massive slide. For all we know, Jalen Carter might end up falling to the 18th overall pick. As unlikely as that might sound, at this point, nobody really knows what's going to happen with any of these NFL prospects. So I would imagine that the Detroit Lions keep this pick for now. I would imagine that the Detroit Lions stay put, they stick where they are, and if the right value is there, I would not be surprised if Brad Holmes trades this pick. And the 18th overall pick is valuable enough to warrant a future first. It is valuable enough to get an extra second, an extra third. It's valuable enough to get multiple picks within the top 100 in exchange for just that pick alone, or potentially a player, potentially a veteran defensive lineman, potentially a veteran linebacker who's not on the roster, potentially a vertical deep threat that still has some youth to him at the wide receiver position, similarly to what the Eagles did last year with A.J. Brown, right? There are so many options with that 18th overall pick, and I think the Detroit Lions are are going to have a lot of options on their hands. But with all that being said, that is all I have for you guys today.
today. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about the suspension, what you think about the Detroit Lions news and rumors of the last week. I'll continue to keep you updated on any news and rumors that come out between now and and draft night. But for right now, that's all I got for you guys right now. Jamison Williams is suspended for six games. CJ Moore and Quintus Cephas are cut. And the Lions are potentially looking to trade down from the 18th overall selection. So with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys right now. Thank you all so very much for watching. And until next time, and as always, go Lions!